We start with some alarming statistics on Bay Area vaccination rates. We found kindergartens in three Bay Area counties where fewer than 50% of students are immunized against measles. All are small private schools or charters. Well, three are Waldorf uh, schools, including Berkeley Rose, KPIX 5's Melissa Kane is there tonight with more on this story. Melissa? That's right. We're here at the Berkeley Rose Waldorf School in Berkeley, where last year's kindergarten class had 29% vaccination rates. We wanted to know, how is that possible? At the Berkeley Rose Waldorf School, parents pay nearly $15,000 a year for their kids to attend kindergarten. Last year, out of 21 kindergartners, only six were vaccinated. Of all the diseases we deal with that are contagious, measles is the most contagious disease. It's far more contagious, for example, than smallpox. Dr. John Schwartzberg is a professor at UC Berkeley. He says measles are so contagious that the vast majority of people have to be vaccinated to prevent an outbreak. And that number is around 95%. 93%, 97%, but somewhere around 95% of the population needs to be immunized to stop these outbreaks. There are six schools in the Bay Area where last year's kindergarten class was less than 50% vaccinated. New state laws make it hard to avoid vaccines. So how do these schools have such low rates? There's still an awful lot of people who are not immunizing their children, and they're getting medical exemptions for that. And the medical exemptions are bogus, at least I can't say they're all bogus, but the vast majority are bogus. Dr. Schwartzberg says 1 to 3 percent of the population actually has a medical reason to avoid vaccines. But at these six schools, an average of 35 percent of those kindergartners have medical exemptions. Now, Senator and Dr. Richard Pan has proposed legislation that would make it harder for parents to get those medical exemptions. But some parents oppose it. Dr. Schwartzberg supports this new proposed law, although he thinks it's unfortunate that it's necessary. Measles is not a benign disease. And for a parent not to immunize to protect their child against measles is really criminal. Uh, we did reach out to all six schools that we talked about here today, and none of them wanted to correct the record with regard to the numbers that we're reporting here or talk on camera. We also hung around out here for a while earlier and tried to get any parent to explain uh, their position to us, and none of them wanted to talk on camera. Live in Berkeley, Melissa Kane, KPIX5. We start with some... All right, all praises, glory, and honor, and double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and salutations to all you brothers out there, teaching us word of truth and sincerity, shalom with the hopeful, like the one-third of the nation of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites, those descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you so-called white people are known as the Edomites in the Holy Bible, okay? And your kingdom, okay, America, known as Babylon in the Bible, is being destroyed, as, as you can see. And one of the main things they're pushing right now is these vaccinations, okay? <coughs> Salakia. It's these vaccinations, and, and they really want you to get it, you know? They, you, don't really, you don't realize it until you have a child. And you see that these schools, they don't allow your kids to go go to school unless they're vaccinated. So all these kids that are poor, parents that are uneducated, uh, they, they watch the news and they just do what the news tells them to do. But if you're uh, somebody who is educated, you have money, okay, you know what's going on, okay, you're not going to send your kid to a public school. You're going to send them to a private school, okay? And when you do that, um, you're also not going to vaccinate your kids as well for some reason. Why? Why does that seem so? Those seem so correlated. It's because when you are more educated, you get money, you understand that vaccines are for these these low life people to die off. Of, okay, and that's how these damn devils operate. And as you saw in this video, um. 
All right. It's, this is all just pretty much fake news, okay? Because just because there's low vaccination rates, that doesn't mean measles is going to go and kill people, all right? Measles is a it's just a, a little a virus that goes comes and goes, okay? And yeah, you may die from it, but you can die from anything, you know. But the so-called white man, he wants to he wants to use these vaccines. He really wants to use these vaccines on you. Why does he want to use these vaccines on you? Because he wants to kill your ass, all right? He wants to want you to come up bug out and get addicted to his drugs. And let's see, these are the comments. This video just came out today. I bet it. I get it, but you shouldn't try to force people to conform to your rules. I bet someone talked on camera, but they were not pro-vaccines. These people are waking up to you idiots. It's not any surprise. Smart people don't vaccinate their kids. Rich people understand the elites are eugenicists and vaccines are weapons that kill. This fake news reporter is paid by a eugenicist. She won't tell you the truth. Vaccine causes autism, retardation, filled with aluminum, mercury, and be dead baby parts. This, this person's calling him a nutcase, but what he said is true, actually, when you do the research. Biotech Neuralink prototypes designed to record electrical nerve and brain activity and facilitate... This guy's a bug out. MK Ultra is now... Yeah, no, oh yeah, then the, the so-called so Jew right here, Mr. Schwartzman. Who else? Who else is gonna is gonna push for it? And you look at this guy, man. He's all hunched over. Doctor John Schwartzberg. I ain't gotta tell you who this guy is. All right. They said, "No, what is criminals? The adults coming into this country spreading disease. Don't try to pass off the blame on children." So, before I get into some scriptures here, you can see by the comments. People understand what's going on, right? And this guy, Schwartzberg, at the end of the video, he says, if you don't vaccinate your kid, you're pretty much a criminal. He wants to put you in jail because you didn't vaccinate your kid. Like, he really cares about the state of your children. Here it is. Your kids can go ahead and, and uh, drink water that's laced with fluoride, you know, eat all kinds of meats full of antibiotics. But he wants to vaccinate your kid full of, of measles. He ain't got nothing to say about, oh, he's okay with your kids breathing in air that just got chemtrailed since the sun rose in the morning. You know, it's a nice sunny day. You go outside and the chemtrails are already out. You're through. But he has no issue with that. He has issues with you putting his his poison in you, man. All right? And, and you so-called white people, man. People are sick and tired of it. and And, and the spirit has it. We've been saying you're not in a, uh, in, in, a, in a place to rule. Okay, You're the basis of man. You're the lowest of man. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fool, the people mourn. And the people are mourning right now because you have wicked, evil laws uh, that are meant to do what? Put more hell on the people. And that's what America is becoming. Oh, well, it's been that for us, the Israelites, but now it's coming, it, the, it's, it's evolving into what we know as a, the mark of the beast that's coming, okay? Evolving to a pure, totalitarian, authoritarian state that's going to go to war with the, the Lord and his angels, all right? It's going to go to war with the NATO and the EU and Russia, with the rest of the world in this World War Three. When the righteous side authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fool, the people mourn. And the people are mourning because they're over here listening to this devil. I'm like, all right, we're gonna get we're gonna vaccinate our kids. We'll listen to you, and then what ends up happening? Timmy was never the same after he went to the doctors. I wonder why. Oh well, here it is, he's banging his head against the wall. Choking on choking on hot dog meat. Just dying. Okay, all right, choking on his own saliva, dying. All because of what? You you listen to the so-called white man. You trusted in this devil. Okay. And you so-called white people, the you elites, 
They don't vaccinate their kids. That's one of the main points of this video. Here it is. He 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 knows that everyone in his circle doesn't vaccinate. All right, Mr. Schwartzberg. He probably wasn't even vaccinated. Yeah, he he wants to tell you to get down. That's the devil, man. And these schools, these are all eat in my areas. And they all have something to come. They're all eat in my areas. The Chinese, they'll get vaccinated. They don't care, man. All right, they got pff, the Most High made them built to serve hardcore slavery under us. Okay, so they could survive a lot of things. But you Edomites, man, you're frail, you're weak, and you're out of here, man. And so, majority of you, you're not trying to vaccinate. All right, and and you live out in these areas, and high percentages. Look at that. If you go into a Jake. A Jake school, man. You know, it's in the 90%, 90% vaccinated. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this is Ecclesiasticus. Hold on, I want to get to it now. Ecclesiasticus 21 and 9. The congregation of the wicked is like a toe wrapped together, and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. Because the so called white man. The elites, they don't vaccinate their kids, man. They 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 create the drugs to kill you. Are they? You think they're off on that stuff? Off the the MMR vaccine? No, All right? They're not doing that. They they sure as hell don't go to your public schools. All right, they they want nothing to do with you people. Yeah, what's gonna happen to them? They're gonna be wrapped together, okay, like the toe, like some wood. And the flame of fire is going to be used to destroy that thermonuclear fire, right? Because these vaccines are super wicked. They're destroying. They've done research. The main people it, it kills are you Israelites, all right? Get back to this guy, Schwartzman, the devil, all right? And, and the so-called white man, what has he, he done? I'm going to read this passage in Maccabees of what he like, how he, how he always been get, getting down. Okay, this is 2nd Maccabees 8 and 1. And Judas Machiavus <laughs> and they that were with him went privily into the towns and called their kinsfolk together and took unto them all such as continued in the Jews' religion and assembled about 6,000 men. They called upon the Lord and, they, and, he, and he would look upon the people that was trodden down of all and also pity the temple profaned of ungodly men that he would have compassion upon the city, sore defaced and ready to be made even with the ground, and hear the blood that crieth unto him. And remember the wicked slaughter of harmless infants, and the blasphemies committed against his name, and that he would show his hatred against the wicked. Now when Maccabee had his company about him, he could not withstand he could not be withstood by the heathen, for the wrath of the Lord was turned into mercy. Therefore he came out unawares and burned up towns and cities and got into his hands the most commodest places, and overcame and put to flight no small number of his enemies. But especially those, especially took he advantage of the night for such privy attempts, and so much the fruit of his holiness was spread everywhere. So, during the times of Judas Maccabees, when Antiochus uh, came in and was ruling, all right, he was ruling our land after the death of Alexander, the so-called Alexander the Freak. What did they do? They rolled into our city, raised it, killed it, tried to put us back in slavery, forced us to do wickedness, to profane the temple. And one of the main things they were doing was and remember the wicked slaughter of harmless infants. And you don't know how much this devil wants to kill your children until you see it happen. You see a baby get born. Right? The first thing they want to do is just take its blood. His or her blood. Just take all the blood out the baby. Why, why, why are you going to do that? Oh, they got to run tests. You know they don't be running no damn tests. I ain't never seen no tests since. Alright? 
They, they, they do whatever the hell they want with them. They just want to make it more difficult. They want your baby to die. They want to slaughter the infants. What would you do when you came to this land? You were taking the babies, dashing them against the stones. You were opening the woman's, uh, uh, pregnant woman's bellies, wombs, cutting them open, stomping the baby out, letting it fall out to the ground, feeding them to the dogs. Right? And now the Most High, he's going to show his hatred against you. So now that this devil, he can't really do that anymore. That time came and passed, but you're going to do it again. During the time of Jacob's trouble, it's going to happen again. But as of right now, you got to be real slick. So you're using the vaccines. And it's not, you're not going to send out a bum Edomite to go, here, here, have a vaccine. Well, they are bum Edomites. They call themselves doctors. They, like this guy, Schwartzman. He's a nobody, man. He's a, he's a total, he's a, he's the devil, man. He's the devil the Bible speaks of. All right? And he's just doing the bidding of his masters. Uh, much high level, much higher level witches. Okay. Yeah, here it is. I'm just reading all the stuff he has here. Seniors in the law. Seniors in the law. Where he's legal estate and planning. This is death and dying. Pre-retirement planning program. So here does this guy got all kinds of retirement stuff. He's telling you to vaccinate your kids, man. And for you people that it's, you're still on the fence, oh man, should I vaccinate my kids? You're a bug out, man. This is Ecclesiastes 39 and 24. As his ways are playing into the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Yeah, man, because to us, the men of the Lord, we can totally see that. Oh, yeah, vaccines. You know, when you really look into it. Yeah, they got to kill you. They, and then when you've done the research, you already know. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's what causes autism, pretty much. Oh, you can't say that. Why can't you say that, man? There's certain things you can't say around the so-called white man. Why? Because it, it just exposes them as, as, as what? Being the devil, okay? Here it is. They want to teach uh, homosexual history, uh, what they call achieve, achievements of, <laughs> of the gay community. They want to teach that to your second grader, right? Yet, <clears throat> they, won't they won't teach your second grader about the wickedness of the so-called white man, right? The true history of America, what you're doing to the so-called black man, the tribe of Judah, Okay, just completely ravaging the land and killing and raping and pillaging and murdering all kinds of different Native American tribes known as the tribe of Gad, tribe of Reuben. All right, what you did in Mexico to the tribe of Ishakar and to uh, and all the rest of the respective tribes that you're putting them a pure hell on, you're not going to teach that, man. You want to teach about homos. As a, well, teach, teach teach the truth to the second graders. Because I know, man, that would have taught me young. I mean, I did know. My parents raised me with the right mind. I, I knew Columbus was the devil. I knew you so-called white people were the devil. All right, and if I didn't believe it, you showed me. Through what? Through the, your hatred. As his ways are playing into the holy soil, they stumbling blocks into the wicked. Yeah, because you could totally see it. Oh, man, these rich, uh, low vaccination rates. It's all the rich people. Okay. Rich people in private schools. That cost $15,000 a year. Who got $15,000 a year to pay for school? And here it is. They're showing pictures of, where are these people from? These are the, the, the anti-vaxxers, man. <clears throat> all right. Yet, we know that the Most High actually created all these things for a reason, okay? He created uh, these plagues, okay, these viruses, right? The vaccines, the so-called white man's medical industry, because the medical industry is just there to kill you, right? And really just to torture you to death. When you look deeper to the history of the so-called white man and how he's operated, okay, medically, so-called medically, all he's done is just done sicko shit. 
on some real, like, from the movie, sicko scientist lab guy. You just buy a slave woman. Buy a slave woman and just exp- open up her insides, man. Just torture her to death. When I say a slave woman, I'm talking about the so-called black woman. And that's how uh, modern-day OBGYN's uh, gynecology was uh, discovered. Okay. <clears throat> this is Sirach 40 and 10. When all is safe, he awaketh and marveleth that the fear was nothing. Such things happen to all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Yeah, talking about those uh, night terrors. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood, right? Death, bloodshed, strife, sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and scourge. These are all these things that were created for the wicked, right? So the vaccines that was created by the so-called white man to do what? To kill everybody. But really, when you look into it, the most high was part of that, okay? Because he set the white man up to do that. And he created it to do what? To kill more of the wicked because these people here are real evil, man. Here in America. And all throughout the world. But mainly speaking about what's happening here in, in Babylon. Okay. And as you can see, these elites, they don't want it. And the, these, these people that are educated, they're, they're, not, they're not trying to kill their kids. They know better. Yet, the, the, who, who's, who's those vaccines getting, man? It's getting the two-thirds. All right, it's getting the two thirds of the nation of Israel. Y'all getting jacked up, and you're the main people affected by that BS. Okay, so as you can see, man, the vaccine is a it's a heavy stronghold. Yet we are set up to uh to take those down. Okay, because you can see that people actually really believe in the so called white man's medical industry. That's a stronghold, and we've been telling you starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that the white man, he, he has all kinds of drugs that he just wants to get you hooked up on so you can die a slow and painful death while while he makes money off of you. Okay, this is Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For he wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's a lot, kid. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And the rulers of the darkness of this world they're the ones pushing the vaccines. They're the ones spraying the chemtrails. Well, you sound like a Alex Jones loony bin. You're well. You're an idiot, man. You're 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 Alex Jones, all right? We're we're the men of the Lord. We know about you devils, all right? We know about the rulers of the darkness of this world, okay? And it starts with you so-called white people, all right? You everyday Edomites. You're the you're you're in complete darkness. Hey, if you don't have your help with shy, you're pretty much in darkness. You're pretty much against him. And you're with who? The so-called white man. And you're going to be destroyed with his ass. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. And the whole thing behind them vaccinating your children is, is to kill them, man. To have them part of a sacrifice. You already know that. It's just a potion to put extra demons on your kids. And some kids live through it and some just drop dead. So there's a thing called uh, SIDS. Sudden infant death syndrome. All of a sudden, the baby's spirit just leaves. Because you put 23 vaccines in it, man. That's why. And and really, the Most High judged it. Either, or he, the Most High sometimes just keeps the spirit in it. And that spirit is just trying to escape the whole time, man. Why do you think they're hitting, them, hitting themselves, you know? Because they, they don't, they don't want to be in that, that hell. Because these bodies are hell, man. The Most High can judge you that. Give you give you that, man. Make you go through that type of shit. And that's why we need the kingdom of heaven. 
right? And the so-called white man, he's the one pushing that on, on us. Why? Because he's, he's in spiritual wickedness in the highest places, right? He's doing all types of wickedness everywhere, worshiping the spiritual demon of Satan. And he's doing it out in the open. So yeah, with that, I just wanted to go into those scriptures and show you that video. All right, and like I like the, I said earlier, this it's plain. Why? Why do they say why are why are the low vaccination rates at these private schools in the rich white areas? Why? They're not going to answer that question. They're just going to point it out. They want to shame Esau. And with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor. Yah, Bashim, Al Shai, Bashim, And America is going to be destroyed very soon with thermonuclear missiles. Shalom.